Life on the Breadline photographic exhibition arises from three years research focusing on Christian responses to poverty in the UK since the global financial crash in 2008. At the exhibition, we are highlighting the work of our colleagues and friends from case studies in London, Birmingham and Manchester. You will see when you join us at the exhibition that there are some challenging and thought-provoking photographs taken by friends in Birmingham, London and Manchester. They are at the heart of our research, a project that we are determined will have real impact in local communities up and down the UK. My name is Kiran Devan. I'm the Executive Director of the Centre for Trust, Peace and Social Relations at the University of Coventry. And I'm here at the Life on the Breadline exhibition uh, in the cathedral here in the city. And it's one of the great pieces of work I think we're doing at the centre because it's examining the impact of um, austerity, of policy on people who are living on the breadline in a number of cities here in the UK. But the reason it's important for us as the centre is not only is it trying to understand the dynamics within communities and how those communities are supporting each other through difficult times, but it also helps us inform policy so that when austerity is being thought about and developed as a policy in difficult financial times, we provide some insight into what works what doesn't, and what some of those changes which could be made to policy are, which will allow the impact on vulnerable people to be that bit less. Hi, so I'm uh, Paul Wright, uh, Street Connector Mentor for Open Door Community Foundation uh, based in Furs and Bromford in Hodgill. So we were involved in the project from the very beginning. It was hard at times because poverty and austerity aren't words that we necessarily use or think about. We're not saying we shy away from it or avoid the fact that it exists, but we focus on what's strong in our community and what's uh, positive about our community and what skills and gifts have got and therefore don't necessarily begin with poverty or um, deprivation. But I think you know it's been important as part of the project to under, get a bit of an understanding of the impact that austerity and deprivation and poverty have, but also shine a light on the the good of our neighbourhood, the connections that have evolved and the connections that exist, and the impact that being a close community has. So that's been the most exciting part about being, with with this project. It's just helping us capture a glimpse, I think, of of our community the barriers and the problems and the things that get in the way, but also shine a light on where there are moments of hope and love and care and generosity and how those things kind of shine through and, and are the bedrock of any, so, any sort of response to austerity for us will be built on love and loving our neighbour and caring for each other. Hello, I'm John Whitcomb, I'm the Dean of Coventry. Um, we're delighted to be having the Life on the Breadline exhibition in the Chapel of Unity. It's a real wake-up call, um, both to the churches, about the potential for being involved, and also to wider society for some of the challenges that are right in our doorsteps, but sometimes we walk past without even noticing it. I'm immensely excited by this uh, exhibition, and I really hope that it's a catalyst for change. Hello from Coventry Cathedral. We're here to launch the wonderful exhibition of Life of the Red Line project, a, a path-breaking project that's combined scholarship with community engagement, which looks essentially at the contemporary state of modern Britain and what faith groups are doing about it and how faith groups, by working within the community, can make such a difference. It's just unacceptable that 15 million people in modern day Britain are living in poverty and are requiring food handouts from uh, civil society. Um, and I think that's a statement of a, an issue, an underlying problem 
that this study has been examining. So this study is funded uh, as, as pure research, a scholarship that looks at some of the underlying issues, but has opened up the huge potential of faith organisations, not only to build trust within communities, but to build trust between people and state institutions and non-state institutions. It's a wonderful exhibition. It highlights some of the problems here in contemporary Britain. But of course, if we have a problem here, just think and imagine what the problems are in other less fortunate countries around the world. So I urge you to get involved, have a look on the website and uh, be inspired. Hello, I'm Penny and I'm from Hodge Hill. Um, well, I'm, I'm a, I live on the, uh, in Hodge Hill Parish on the Bromford Estate and I'm called a street connector. And one of the things that I do um, is try to connect people with each other. So I like to get to know my neighbours and extended neighbours on the estate, sometimes by just knocking on doors and then connect them with each other and to find out what they'd like to do on the estate and what they'd like to see happening and then finally, hopefully, how they might be involved as well. So it's not just the church perhaps doing for people but, but everybody doing for themselves with a bit of support. You really captured uh, what we're about in Hodge Hill, so thank you for that. And it was lovely to see the other um, areas that you went into as well. Oh, it's very poignant, the Grenfell one and um, other areas, the importance of food banks that some churches are doing. And um, it is very special. Um, uh, thank you. And because I know that you captured ours so well, I know that you've captured other ones so well as well. I'm the Deputy Lord Mayor of Coventry City Council and I'm Councillor Kevin Mayton. The first thing that struck me was just how radical it is. It's making a very clear statement. Uh, and one of the key things I remember is that point about austerity is a policy. It's that people in power are deliberately doing things in order that austerity has certain impacts that they feel are, are beneficial. And I think from that stems all of the very powerful pictures that are in the exhibition. It's very timely because um, talking to some of the organisers of the exhibition, I remember when Faith in the City was one of the major documents from the Church of England at a time when we were looking to do uh, and improve the conditions of people in inner cities. And I think this exhibition again highlights how important faith groups are in being able to challenge the orthodoxy of certain political groupings and governments uh, that austerity is inevitable, it's not. Welcome to the Life on the Breadline exhibition at Coventry Cathedral. In the centre of the exhibition, this is an interactive part that when you visit, asks you to write on a piece of card um, a reflection about the exhibition or a point on how your understanding of poverty in the UK and church's response to, this, to poverty in the UK has changed. And also invites you to take a postcard away that's stamped ready for you to tell someone else about the exhibition. 